1938 or 39, I can't quite remember precisely, but it was long before I decided to become an actor, and certainly some time before I learned to love golf, I was walking with a friend of my mother's, a very attractive Viennese lady, on the golf course at Wentworth in Surrey. I think she had been to see a film, and she was going on about it and saying how much she enjoyed it, and how marvellous the leading actor was, and that in fact she had known him, I rather gathered, rather well. And I said, oh, well, I'd seen the same film. It was either Spy in Black or Contraband or one of those pictures that was made before the war. And I was saying to her, what a wonderful actor I thought the leading player was and how he was my idol and I wished one day that I could be like him, although it was still not a question of becoming an actor. And we were talking continually between us about the same man, she from obvious experience and me just out of the idolatry of a film goer. And to my complete amazement, Conrad Veidt, one of the greatest actors in the history of the cinema, who actually died on the golf course of a heart attack at the ridiculous age of 49. I think Casablanca was his last film. Conrad Veidt suddenly appeared in front of us, playing the whole. He was a very keen golfer. Well, as you can imagine, I was, to say the least, overcome. Now, later that year, he starred as the evil vizier Jafar in the most wonderful fantasy adventure ever made, The Thief of Baghdad. I will never forget. Win!